Welcome back, everyone, to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. And today we're we're, we're going to try to help you win your league, I guess, with uh, league winners. We've each picked a guy who, in auction drafts, so we think it could be a combination of price, could be a combination of just they're that good. Who knows? There's no parameters to this. Um, I could pick $60, 60-some dollar Christian McCaffrey for a league winner if I really want to, which, hey, he could be. Probably won't gonna I'm not gonna do that, but I have no idea who Jeff's guy is. Um, he doesn't know who mine is. We've had some success with this in the past. We actually had some good ones. Jeff's I think big one always will be Lamar Jackson. He really crushed it with that one a few years ago, won a bunch of leagues. Um, but I'm curious who you're going for today, Jeff. Who's your league winner for twenty twenty four? My I always love doing this because after we do all the research and everything, yeah. you come back and you try to figure out who it's gonna be for what reason. I did not think this guy was going to be the one I was going to choose. I really did not. Um, honestly, he his price remained low, and the positive feedback we keep hearing just remained high. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is working against him, and we'll go through that as well. But the guy I'm going to say is going to be a league winner this year for me is going to be a mid-round guy. It's going to be Cooper Cup, actually. It, I did not think it was going to yeah. be. I was I was ready to kind of be down on it. I was ready to be like, hey, he's going to be 30, 31. He is, you know, he has Puka there now. Uh, he has injury concerns. Stafford has injury concerns. There's a lot working against him. There's no yeah. doubt about it. All of those reasons, I totally understand why people have downgraded him and why he's going around more like wide receiver number 20. But that right there, the price alone is the thing that I absolutely love. For all of these guys that are going to get overpriced and for have the same kind of issues. I mean, I, I talked about Justin Jefferson and why I'm staying away from him, but we don't know the quarterback situation. And even though he does look very healthy, he was just coming off an injury a, a year ago. Um, but everyone is saying that he is 100% healthy, which he hasn't yep. been the last two years, which is huge. Puka is taking all of the shine away from him, which I actually love. And I do think that Cooper Cup is still going to be the number one target of Stafford. The usage numbers are ridiculous when you look at what Stafford and him have been able to do. And I do realize that one big year when he made the triple crown, yeah. that skews things a little bit. I don't expect him to be the number one overall wide receiver. I really don't. But I think what you're choosing here, and if he only misses a game or two, I think you get a top five wide receiver with huge upside because even the games he played last year, which was only about 12, realistic one i think he appeared in maybe 13 um he had what seven uh uh red zone um catches or seven i should say seven red zone attempts thrown his way and then he had 12 red or that was i'm sorry end zone seven end zone attempts his way which is very very high only in that amount of games and he had 12 uh red zone catches in 12 games which would have ranked him 11th so he was almost in the top 10 in that and he missed a third of the season yeah so it just shows the percentage and where stafford likes to go i once again i love what kyron did last year and i think that running game is going to be very healthy and help the pass game but i still don't think they're going to hang their hat 100 percent on it i think quorum kyron is going to be a great one-two punch but i don't think Nakua is taking over. I don't think Tyron's taking over. I think we get one more year of Cooper being Cooper Cup, the legitimate wide receiver we love to see, and then I'll and then we'll go from there. But he is getting older, all these things. But that's why you can get him at a premium price. You can get two number one wide receivers on your team, mm -hmm. and for the price of a wide receiver two or wide receiver three, more than likely. Yeah, he's he's it's just a it's such a good price, and. There's just a reason why I just can't get fully on board with Puka this year. And I love Puka. He won me titles last year. And usually guys like that, you really want to like, they're your guy now. You want to hype them. And I just like can't because I can just see if you have a healthy Cooper Cup, he's going to get the ball. And I think people are just forgotten about him. It, it's, I don't know. I think he's going to have a good year. I think in the price is awesome. So yeah, you could get a definitely a wide receiver one for a mid round price and you got him in one of our leagues for in the 20s, so that's realistic, and that's an exaggerated price usually based on a keeper yeah, league. Yeah, I got for 20 and his, That's a keeper league, and, value, so yeah. it's still higher. You're in, it's, it's good. It's a good one. Yeah, and really I didn't yeah. think so, and I, I think that just shows too that I think that the high-end guys, even though you yeah. could say CMC or something, I think mm -hmm. we kind of mentioned him last year. Yeah, very, very well done, um, but very rarely do you see a, a guy in the middle 
that has mm-hmm. that kind of potential that people are just sleeping on. And yep. I get the injury, but still. All right. My guy. This is, I, man, I had a tough time with this list. I really did. Yeah. There's a lot of guys I could I could go for that I'm like, I kind of, like I've talked about a lot of running backs that I like at the end, but they're just, it's, you know, those guys I think are just great values. Try to call them a league winner is a bit of a stretch. Um, You know, the Jalen Warrens, the Ty J Spears, the Chase Browns. I love those guys, but I just can't say they're league winner types. I can't. I can't do it. Um, Cooper Cup was a good one. I almost kind of like, I'm almost like, is Stephon Diggs done? I don't think so. He's the same price as Cooper Cup. That's a good one too, right? There's a lot of guys like that. But I actually went completely different. And oh, another one, Brandon Ayuk could really be there if he gets traded to a team that's going to use him. Who knows? There's a lot right. of guys, right? I actually went with quarterback. I went completely different. I'm I'm going to say Anthony Richardson. Oh, that's a good one. I I think this is, you know, there's definitely concerns. There's injury concerns. He got hurt last year. He got hurt twice last year, I believe. There's injury concerns. But if he is out there and playing, he just has that running, that running cheat code that is just going to be, he is going to be tough to stop in fantasy. Like it's going to be big because even last year, his passing wasn't great when he did play. I mean, he, he threw for, he played for, he played in four games, right? I think even two of them were half games. Like he really played in two games. He threw three touchdowns, but he ran for four touchdowns in that stretch. One in week one, two in week two, one in week four. He, I mean, that's he's too good not to run the ball. He's going to run the ball. He's going to score touchdowns. He's going to throw for some touchdowns. He has Michael Pittman, very solid receiver. He has a good running back behind him. Man, it, his price isn't bad. It's he, uh, he is getting drafted, you know, higher for a guy who has barely played. You're right. He's probably the sixth one off the board, about $9-ish. I think that's very reasonable. For someone who could have massive numbers if he's healthy and plays the whole year, he could really, truly be a big time, like league winner type. Those kind of quarterbacks who have the rushing ability are the guys who go and really crush it for you and can win your leagues. I think Richardson's that guy for me. Price is still low enough. I think you can get him in the single digits, a lot of drafts. You'll see some double digit drafts. That's why it's skewed, but I think there's a lot of drafts. You'll get him for cheap enough, seven, eight dollars. I think that's huge. Um, man, I, I, I'm just. I'm really liking the idea of having Anthony Richardson on my team. And honestly, <laughs> I'm almost like backing him up with a dollar or two dollar Jaden Daniels. <laughs> Do the same thing. I kind of love that. I don't even want to go for the safety. You could go for the safety and you get the other guy, the Goff, the Cousins, the Rodgers, whatever. But I kind of like it going Richardson Daniels. Daniels is it. my low key, my other one in a yeah, way. I, kinda, I actually, I, so. I would have given you a lot of credit if you said Daniels because <laughs> I thought being about a rookie it. QB. I, I thought about it. I truly did because I think he's that same route and he's $2. It's yeah. the same kind of player. I think it's the same kind of thing. I like both of them and I think you can actually just get both of them. Yeah, and I like, I like Jaden more than I like Caleb. And I think Caleb has completely overshadowed yeah. him where people are. Like if, if it was a non Caleb yeah, draft, yeah. I think everyone would be so over the moon on him. I love the Anthony Richardson one because we talked about there's certain players and I put like uh, Von Achan in this one too, mm-hmm. like that you just don't know. Mm-hmm. They absolutely could blow up their little and Richardson scares me because you didn't get to see a huge sample size, yep. but because of that, that's why you can actually get him mm-hmm. at a lower price. Mm-hmm. So the question is. Can he stay healthy? So you're banking on the fact. I think he can. He's a big dude, too. He is. He I is. mean, he is. It does feel like he can take. I know that for contrary belief because we saw him in four games and yeah. he got knocked out. But it does feel like he has a body that can actually uh, take the punishment. And open, hopefully he learned how to maybe yeah, avoid a couple of it was a fluke. But, man, I'm really intrigued. Really, really intrigued. I think he could have a big year. So there we go. Like it. Cooper Cup, Anthony Richardson, and then Loki, eh, Jaden Daniels. Just remember them. Jaden Daniels. Parham, did you, did you have anyone really low that you mentioned a couple of running backs? Now, the running backs. Are, I don't. I I don't have enough like conviction in them to be like, yeah, for sure. I don't. I truly don't. The I have more, um, probably belief in Jaden Daniels mm-hmm. than I do the running backs. If I'm honest, so there really wasn't. There just isn't. I even though, like I've said the names a million times, but it's Jalen Warren, it's Ty J Spears, it's Chase Brown, I, uh, J.K. Dobbins. I love those guys. I just can't. I, any one of them could happen. Right. I just don't know they're which values, one's going to be. But they're not league winners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who's who's it going to be. No, nope, totally. That's kind of where I'm at. But yeah, all right. So there we go. League winners. That'll do it for this one. Talk to you guys next time.